this is Roger Scott from Market Geeks with another trading tutorial for you today. Before I begin, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our video channel and don't forget to download your free swing trading report from MarketGeeks.com. Today I'm going to discuss a great Bollinger Bands strategy that you can apply to your trading. When John Bollinger introduced the Bollinger Bands strategy over 20 years ago, I was skeptical about its longevity. I thought it would last a short time and would fade into the sunset like most popular trading strategies of the time. I have to admit that I was wrong and Bollinger Bands became one of the most relied on technical indicators that were ever created. For those of you who are not familiar with Bollinger Bands, it's rather a simple indicator. You begin with the 20 day simple moving average of the closing prices. The upper and lower bands are then set to standard deviations above and below the moving average. The bands move away from the moving average when volatility expands and move towards the moving average when volatility contracts. For today's demonstration, we will rely on the standard settings to keep things simple. However, many traders change the length of the moving average depending on the length of time frame they're using. Notice in this example how the band expands and contracts depending on the volatility and the trading range of the market. Notice how the bands dynamically narrow and widen based on the day-to-day -day price action change. There's one additional indicator that works hand-in-hand -hand with Bollinger Bands that many traders do not know about. It's actually part of the Bollinger Band, but since the Bollinger Bands are always drawn on the chart instead of below the chart, there's no logical place to put this indicator when rendering the formula for the actual bands. The indicator is called bandwidth, and the sole purpose of this indicator is to subtract the lower band value from the upper band. Notice in this example how the bandwidth indicator gives lower readings when the bands are contracting and higher readings when the bands are expanding. I've used Bollinger Bands many different ways over the years with positive results. One particular Bollinger Band strategy that I use when volatility is decreasing in the markets is the squeeze entry strategy. It's a very simple strategy and works very well for stocks, futures, foreign currencies, and commodity contracts. The squeeze strategy is based on the idea that once volatility decreases for extended periods of time, the opposite reaction typically occurs and volatility greatly increases once again. When volatility expands, markets usually begin trending strongly in one direction for a short period of time. The squeeze begins with the bandwidth making a six month low. It doesn't matter what the actual number is because it's relative only to the market that you're looking to trade and nothing else. In this example, you could see IBM stock reaching the lowest level of volatility in six months. Notice how the price of the stock is barely moving at the time the six month bandwidth low is reached. This is the time to begin looking at markets because the six month low bandwidth level typically precedes strong directional moves. In this example, you can see how the IBM stock breaks outside of the upper Bollinger Band immediately after the stock's bandwidth level reached a six month low. This is a very common occurrence and one you should begin watching out for on a daily basis. The six month bandwidth low is a great indicator that precedes strong directional momentum. In this example, you can see how Apple computers reaches the lowest bandwidth level in six months. One day later, the stock breaks outside of the upper band. This is the type of setups you want to monitor on a daily basis when using the bandwidth indicator for squeeze setups. Notice how the bandwidth begins to increase quickly after reaching the six month low level. The price of the stock will usually begin moving higher within a few days of the six month bandwidth low. The squeeze is one of the simplest and most effective methods for gauging market volatility, expansion, and contraction. Always remember that markets go through different cycles and once volatility decreases to a six month low, a reversion usually occurs and volatility begins to go up once again. When volatility begins to increase, prices usually begin moving in one direction for a short period of time. 
Thanks for joining us for today's tutorial. This is Roger Scott wishing you the best in your trading.